time and as usual there are a couple tasks that I have to do around the yard and one of those is to get the yard cleaned up rake up all of this dead grass here and try and get it into a state where the grass will start to grow nicely and so over the past couple of years I have used this PTO mounted uh, three-point hitch uh, mower and the nice thing about this mower it's a little heavy um, but the nice thing about it is I was actually able to retrofit these dethatching blades onto here and uh, it works really well uh, I have no issues with how well it actually dethatches the only issue really is that it's attached to the back of the tractor and uh, maneuvering around all the obstacles in the yard is kind of difficult so I came up with a little bit of an idea now I have this Kubota ZG23. It is a 56 inch zero turn mower. This is what I actually used to do all of my mowing in the yard. This is a great mower. I picked it up. It's uh, I think a 2004, so it's going on 20 years, but this is a good quality machine and uh, it only has about 750 hours on it. 800 hours, sorry. Um, and like I said, it's well built to the point where it runs exactly like it did when it was brand new so what i'd like to do is make a set of dethatching blades for this mower so i've taken this uh this is the existing mower blade off and we are going to see what we can do to make our own custom dethatcher blades for this unit we're back in the shop now and as you can see this is uh another one of those dethatching blades it's a, a 16 inch blade and it's just made out of some 3 16 flat bar uh, with a couple of uh, little notches cut in the sides here and a little spot for the uh, the bolts to hold the springs on. So there's not a lot going on there. And what I'm thinking of doing is just using a piece of flat bar, uh, roughly the same width as the blade, a piece of 3 16 And what we'll do is we will cut out the notches and the holes to accept the springs. And it should work out. So I do have a piece of, this is two and a half inch flat bar. It's two and a half wide, three sixteenths thick. We have enough to make three blades here, so we're gonna get going. I have spared you the time of getting the mill and drill set up. It was previously set up for a different task. What we're gonna do now is begin to uh, rough in these three bars here to be a little bit more similar to this dethatching bar. So the first step, we need to get a hole drilled basically on center. This is where the blade attaches to the mower. After that, we're gonna drill uh, this hole here. This is for attaching the spring. So there's one on either side. And we're gonna have to come up with a plan to cut this slot out. So I'm thinking of doing this with uh, an end mill. And I don't think I have an end mill that will cut through all three of these. So. Unfortunately, we will have to do them one by one. I don't think that'll be too terribly uh, painful. Now, I do know if I were to do this again, perhaps, let's say, for uh, more of a production run, I would just draw this up in CAD and send it off to get laser cut. And I know when it's laser cut, it would be almost uh, perfect. Uh, even as far as balancing, I wouldn't even need to bother with any kind of balancing for that matter. So. Yes, that is another possibility, but I just opted to go a little bit uh, lower tech route here. We'll get this drilled out and we'll start to get it uh, into shape. Things are moving along really well. So I've managed to get uh, the holes drilled on both ends and all I did is I used this blade as a template to mark out where the attachment hole goes and then I've kind of pre-drilled the two, I'd say the two corners of this uh, slot here and so what we could do is use the angle grinder to cut out this section here and even a little bit of this section here and it just kind of reduces the amount of milling that we'll need to do. We'll just need to cut a little slot to connect these two holes and that'll be all that's required to get these blades done.
Well, there we are. The blades are pretty much done. What I ended up doing is using the bandsaw rather than the angle grinder. I just don't care for the dust the angle grinder makes. So the bandsaw did a great job. I cut uh, this angle here, and then I was able to just get the saw blade in and connect these two holes and then actually clean up most of the slot with the blade. And removing all that material just made it that much easier to come back with the end mill and just kind of clean up those surfaces so that they're nice and nice and flat. So that's about all there is to it. I'm just going to take a file and clean up some of these edges here. Uh, I will deburr a lot of the uh, other holes and whatnot, and then we can uh, move on to getting these balanced. All right, it is time to get these balanced. And fortunately, that center hole in the blade is a three quarter inch hole. Uh, and so I can just use a piece of three quarter inch threaded rod, a couple of three quarter inch nuts, and we can just rest this between the jaws of the vise. And what we'll do is just let it rotate down. So that's telling us that this side here is heavy. I'm just gonna use a drill bit and we're gonna just remove a little bit of material. And then once we get it so that more or less we can just leave the blade in here and it shouldn't move at all. And we know we've got a balanced blade. So we'll do that for all three and we'll be uh, good to go. Well, there we have it. These dethatching blades for the Kubota 56 inch mower are complete. So they've been fully balanced now. So you can see I've removed a little bit of material from that one end and uh, I've installed the dethatching springs just using a pair of uh, 5 16 bolts and a nylock. So that's all done, good to go. Unfortunately, it is raining out today, so I will not get an opportunity to put these on to the mower and give them a test, but uh, as soon as I do, I will make a small update and uh, have it posted. Anyway, thanks for uh, checking out this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.